Good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining us here today. Um, we're very very excited to uh, uh, share with you our Turn Down the Heat uh, campaign launch today. Um, it's great to see so many familiar faces here today. But for those of you that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting just yet, my name is Craig Heckenberg, and I'm the managing director for Epson Australia in New Zealand. Uh, we are excited about today because Epson Australia is the first Epson office globally to be sharing today's announcement with you. Our new campaign is designed to create awareness of how people can reduce their own impact on climate change by making smarter technology decisions. So for the very first time anywhere in the world, I'd like to ask our General Manager of Marketing, Mr. Bruce Bill, to come forward and share with you the headline story for today. Um, opening, um, but it does set the scene um, for what we want to present to you today. Um, so first of all, um, I'd also like to add to Craig's welcome. Um, thank you for coming to our event once again uh, today. I, this is actually our second event that we've had in Balmoral. I was going to ask, is anyone, did anyone join our projector event several years ago? Just Alex? You're the only one? Well, there was a few others, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So this was our second event. In that event, we actually took people to Queenwood uh, Girls' School, just up the road, to, to demonstrate our projector technology. Which, which, um, and then we went out for lunch. This time, we thought we'd just skip the school and, and bring you straight away for lunch uh, at the at the Bayless. So thank you very much for coming. Apologies that we're all a bit squeezed in this in this room. Um, we wanted to bring you to the pavilion because it kind of ties in with the presentation that we've got you today. But you know, we've had such a good turnout. Some of you have a seat, but others um, are going to have standing room only. But the presentation is only 20, 25 minutes. So bear with us. Um, we can do the presentation. Um, you can see some of the product, and then we can go outside and have a lunch. And Just 20, 25 minutes. In terms of bathrooms, they're right out the back on this level but just towards the back in, in the in the restaurant called Beetle Leaf. Um, that restaurant's closed today but please feel free to use the bathrooms. Um, and we after the presentation outside for a drink and some lunch and we tend to wrap up round about 2.30. So that's that's the order today. So whether we like it or not the planet is warming with potentially dire consequences um, and, and not in the two near in the not too distant future as well, as well. Now today is not to debate the science about global warming, but it's to highlight that even in the printing category, both ourselves, Epson, and also our customers can make a better choice. We can make better choice about the technology that we choose and have a much more sustainable printing. So that is what the presentation today is all about. <coughs> So recently, Epson Corporation, driven by our new president, Mr. Agawa, has very publicly announced his environmental vision. So whether it be the products that we develop, uh, the manufacturing processes, or the su supply chain practices, sustainability is front and foremost in everything we do. And everyone that works at Epson has really noticed that shift in the president's direction. You know, he really is now shifted the company towards a much more sustainable uh, way of doing things, which for us, you know, we're, we're delighted that he's, he's doing that. So in the past 18 months, he's put in place his environmental vision that he wants to achieve by 2050. Now, 2050 is the goal. Um, it's a long way off, but the goal is to be carbon negative, so not carbon neutral, carbon negative, 
and also for us to use non, no non-renewable resources in our processes, so no, no oils, no metals. That's in 2050. Now, using backcasting to get to that target, there are a number of steps we need to make. First of all, um, by 2023, all Epson-owned premises around the world will use 100% uh, renewable electricity. Now, that is a major step forward for us, and only 18 months away. You know, that is, that is a, a real mar milestone for us. And that in itself will save 260,000 tonnes of CO2, just by us shifting to 100% renewable electricity. Then the next step, is to reduce emissions in line with the McKinsey uh, 1.5 degree challenge. Um, we aim to do that by 2030. Now, for those of you not familiar with the McKinsey challenge, basically, if we can restrict global warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels, we can avoid the most permanent and the most irreversible damage to the climate. So, what McKinsey's done is by industry, they've put in place some targets and some goals that if all industries follow those goals, we can restrict global warming to 1.5 degrees. And Epson um, has basically allowed, aligned our goals with the McKinsey goals. We're also committed to all 17 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So again, if you're not familiar with those, um, they're a blueprint, a blueprint that was created by the United Nations uh, to achieve a more sustainable future for everyone. Um, so again, we have aligned our practices and our goals with, with those, those um, SDGs that we can make a real positive difference to. So there's a couple of examples where we can make a contribution. In, in India, we supply our projection technology to some of the under-resourced um, schools. There's another nice example uh, in Epson in, Indone Epson in Indonesia where the Epson staff are helping plant coral gardens to bring back some of the biodiversity to the, to the coral reef so that have been damaged. So here's a few examples of what we're doing to support these United Nations goals. But we feel that where we can make the most significant impact is in the area of climate. <laughs> Now, one of the biggest threats to the planet, as I think we all know, is global warming and the subsequent melting of the permafrost at the polar ice caps. So this, with this in mind, we are delighted today to announce um, that we have joined forces with National Geographic to promote the protection of the world's permafrost in our newly launched Turn Down the Heat campaign. Now this, as Craig said, this is a, a global campaign that is launched today in Balmoral in Australia. So, you know, we are delighted to be the first um, subsidiary around the world to promote this um, new campaign. And it's really about the importance of choosing heat-free inkjet technology. Um, that is the, the whole point of their campaign. And I'll explain more about that a bit later. Now the campaign follows an, Al an Alaskan scientist called Katie Walter Anthony, and she's one of National Geographic's emerging explorers and bringing the world's attention to the melting of permafrost and how it's releasing billions and billions of tonnes of carbon into the atmosphere. This is just perpetuating the whole global warming cycle. So I'm just going to play a two minute video now which explains uh, more about why we're joining forces with National Geographic and why we want the whole of the printer industry to turn towards um, uh, less heat technology. The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the Earth. I'm on a race to determine what this really means for all of us. My research takes me to the coldest corners of the planet studying the release of natural greenhouse gases that speed up global warming. As the ice melts due to rising temperatures, the sea levels rise, the coastal communities get flooded, and there are more frequent and intense weather events. Global warming affects the types of plants that grow and which animals survive. I 
I've been captivated by Arctic lakes since I was young. I love their solitude and the mystery of what lies beneath the water's surface. I've studied more than 300 lakes across the Arctic. These lakes are leaking powerful greenhouse gases that speed up climate warming. Earth's permafrost, the frozen ground beneath most of the Arctic, is turning out to not be so permanent after all. Heat destroys permafrost. Conserving heat is one of the best ways to minimize our impact on the environment. Choosing heat-free technology to lower energy consumption will reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help us slow permafrost thaw in the Arctic. We estimate that up to 10% of the projected global warming this century could come from thawing permafrost. People can have control over how much heat winds up in the atmosphere. We can all play a big part to conserve the magic of this planet for future generations. Okay, so quite powerful stuff. And really, to summarize, what we are launching today is, is, is that you know, if all of us can choose a, a heat-free technology, we can make a significant uh, impact. Now, in terms of inkjet printers, what does it mean? Well, if you choose an inkjet printer over a traditional laser printer, that will use up to 90% less power. It's, it's, it's significant. Um, and this is a message that the Energy Efficiency Council is also promoting. The Energy Efficiency Council is a non-for-profit organisation which promotes sustainable and reliable energy systems um, throughout Australia. So we can make a real big difference by shifting technology towards inkjet. Now, I just wanted to give, give that some context. So what does 90% saving in electricity actually mean? Um, using uh, a methodology that's conducted by Stanford University, if we take 4,000 companies within Australia that employ 200 people or more, um, and they switch from a traditional laser technology to a heat-free inkjet technology, just those 4,000 companies will have the impact of taking, uh, planting 2 million trees um, or removing 13,000 cars from the road. So that's just 4,000 companies in Australia. Imagine what the impact would be if all the home users, um, and also globally, what an, a huge impact that will, that will have. And we have a, a demonstration that you can view after this presentation, but I've also got a video to show you what a comparison on, on a printout from, a, from an inkjet printer, and also a printout from a laser, laser printer. And as you can see, um, the difference is marked. So there's three things to look out for here. One is the actual heat that's generated from a laser. Two is um, how fast inkjets are compared to lasers. And C, just how much energy consumption is used in the laser. Now, on the left-hand side is one of our recently launched Epson Eco Tanks. On the right-hand side is an equivalent uh, color laser. a thermal camera on the right hand side you can see just how much heat is generated from a from a laser printer and on the bottom right hand corner how much power is, is being used versus an inkjet. So over the course of 20 pages the inkjet is faster but the really big point here is the amount of power that's being consumed so just for printing 20 just for printing 20 pages the laser uses 25 times more electricity than the equivalent inkjet. And that is a, a, a massive difference. So we're really trying to tell consumers out there and businesses out there that if they're thinking about buying a laser, they really need to think again because the, the, the impact that they're having on energy consumption is very, very significant. So the National Geographic campaign is launched today, Turn Down the Heat. In the press pack that you can take away with you today, um, you'll include, it will include a number of assets, so things like um, 
infographics, uh, some articles, and also some banners, also the video. But if there's anything else that you need or you want, please ask Salvatore, and we can help you. We can help you get this type of information. So, just want to end my presentation with a few product notices. So I think by now all of you are very familiar with, with EcoTank. Uh, we launched the first EcoTank maybe five, five years ago now, and the actual um, sales of EcoTank and ink tank printers in general are really starting to accelerate. So in the last 12 months, um, sales of ink tank, according to IDG, have done. That's just in 12 months. Um, it would have been a lot more if we hadn't had all the supply constraints, um, but you know, still phenomenal growth. Um, and also Epson is pioneering this area, so we represent about 70% of all those ink tank printers that are, that are sold. However, the point here is that it still only represents around 10% of the market. So although you know, the uptake is huge and the, and the growth is exponential, there's still a long way to go. And if we can, tran if we can transition all our customers away from ink cartridge printers and away from laser printers, the, the impact can be very, very significant. So we have about 20 eco tanks in the range now. We now categorize them into three main areas. One is eco tanks um, that are really aimed at the, the general home and family use. Uh, we also have eco tanks that are specific for photo enthusiasts. And finally, uh, and more recently, we've started to launch some uh, more professional eco tanks that are aimed squarely at that traditional laser customer. So the first group of products that I want to launch, want to, launch to you today is um, ET5150 and ET5170. Now these are squarely aimed at traditional laser users. They use 90% less energy than a, an equivalent laser model. There's fewer um, consumables, no warm-up time. So just that in itself is a very compelling reason to, to switch to inkjet. But also in the box we include enough ink to print over 13,000 pages in black or 5,000 pages in colour. Um, and there's no messy toner when you're changing, changing a toner cartridge. So again, um, very compelling reasons to buy. And these particular prod products um, are, are really aimed at our more um, business customers. So they're very, very reliable. They have an ultra durable precision core head and they have all the other features that our businesses and offices want. So double sided um, ADF scanning, for example. Um, so yeah, these products we really believe are laser killers and we believe that you know, coinciding this launch with the National Geographic launch will really help switch the customers away from that traditional laser technology. And finally for me, we're also upgrading our photo eco tanks. So we already have a couple of photo eco tanks in the, in the market. They're getting upgraded. Um, we have two models, A3 and A4. Uh, the major difference is that you can now, we're now adding uh, extra color. So these will be six color photo printers. Now for those photo enthusiasts, um, you know, that, that really want exceptional photo quality, then we have products for them. There's the P706 and the P906. But these two eco tanks, they produce very, very good photos, which you can see for yourself at the end, um, but also um, have all the functionality that you want from the home office, so scanning um, and obviously printing documents. So this is kind of a, it's an eco tank multi-purpose um, projector that has a real slant towards photo enthusiasts. So you know, this, this uh, is also proven to be very popular, and, and the quality now is is is, is much much more. Important. So that is uh, that is my presentation for today. Today, I'll hand over to Craig. There's just Craig that's separating you between uh, uh, between me and a drink. So if you just give Craig uh, a few more minutes, and uh, we can join you outside for a drink and some lunch. Thank you very much. Well, as you've just heard from Bruce, 
and Epson is serious about leveraging its own resources and technologies to achieve sustainability and enrich communities around the world. In fact, in 1988, Epson announced it would phase out the use of CFCs, which was achieved in Japan in 1992 and globally a year later. More than 30 years on, Epson has announced that all of its worldwide sites will switch to 100% renewable energy by 2023. It is focused on contributing to international environmental initiatives by improving the environmental performance of our products, our services, and our business operations. Furthermore, Epson is developing new environmental technologies that support our commitment to the United Nations Sustainability Development Goals. One example of this commitment to help lower our environmental impact centres around a unique dry fibre technology which is currently being used in our paper recycling system. This technology takes printed papers and actually breaks down the paper to its natural fibres and then uses a dry fibre process uh, to bond the paper back to give you clean sheets of paper at the end for reuse. Paper Lab provides a truly circular economy when it comes to printing in the office. But this technology is also being applied to other applications, such as absorbent ink pads, which use recycled paper that is collected in-house. Sound absorbing panels for noise reduction and cushioning material packaging. Epson also began manufacturing face masks as a response to COVID-19 using the same technology. So in closing, I would like to say that Epson is playing its part in creating a sustainable future for all of us. But we cannot do this alone. Over the past 12 months, more than 500,000 laser printers were sold in this country alone. Now that's a lot of high energy devices sitting on the grid, drawing energy, wasting natural precious resources. So as you can see, we have a lot of work to do to educate people about their energy use when it comes to printing, which is why we are excited about our partnership with the National Geographic Society. Together, we can raise awareness of the world's permafrost, and in doing so, educate people and businesses how they can reduce their own impact on climate change. Today, we have a clear choice between two printing technologies. One that consumes a lot of energy, and one that can help us all turn down the heat. So I'd like to finish off by saying thank you very much for your time, uh, thank you for your attendance, and thank you for your ongoing support of the brand. We really, really do appreciate everything you've been doing for us over the years. And um, I'd like to now suggest that we've got a couple of workstations or demonstration areas for you to go and have a look at. I know Bruce has uh, shown a video of how our energy stacks up against laser. Well, you can go test that for yourself over in the far right hand corner. And um, then we can all go out and enjoy the natural beauty that is Balmoral. Thank you very much.